good morning guys oh it is wednesday it's time for another weekly vlog of a few days in my boring life um i am it's like 8 45 and i'm gonna start working soon unfortunately but drinking my coffee as always nothing new here um we went on a walk today this morning and nothing too long and um then i ate my chia seed pudding so i was like i kept seeing it everywhere and i was like i just don't think i'm gonna like that i need to get my um like we did my hair not long ago but we just did a partial and like now my roots down here are showing because i'm about to get it done again soon anyways um so i've been eating this chia seed pudding every morning and i'm like obsessed with it and it just makes me feel so good it's so good for you and like i don't feel even like the slightest bit of like bloated or like just gross feeling which is amazing like really throughout the whole day um it's just like I don't know i saw someone actually like a few months ago talking about it on tiktok um some like doctor or something um like how like when you let them sit in it like i just make it the night before and then it sits overnight and they like expand i don't know something about that is good for you good for dig digestion and balancing your blood sugar and shit but i've been mixing it with plain greek yogurt um and then i've been chopping up strawberries raspberries blackberries and banana and then a bunch of different kind of nuts that i have like all crushed up in a bag and then i top it with honey it's so good and so good for you and it like keeps me full till lunch i never get like shaky and like the last few weeks i had been like kind of getting shaky i don't know and i just like wasn't like i was tired of like doing my smoothies for breakfast and like i wasn't in the mood for like a hot breakfast like sometimes it just like doesn't sound good um so that was like the perfect thing and i've been eating it literally every morning and i haven't gotten tired of it yet so um yeah you know it's a little stuffy um but i just got ready like a little bit and also i wanted to show you um uh, i did a same day delivery sephora order this feels so close to me um yesterday i'm like addicted to doing those because I'm just lazy and this obviously I literally always get this if you haven't tried this yet you need to it like is a game changer um, especially if you have like an event or like something that you just want to look like snatched at do it like a few hours before you do your makeup and your skin will be like plump snatched but and then I also got more of this this is my old one but I actually got like it's just like a little one because it came in a set with I was wanting to try the toner. <laughs> this looks so tiny. Um, of this line because like I literally love this all. And it came with the face mask. I did it last night. It's like the moisture barrier repair. Because my skin has just been like struggling after I mistreated it for so, like, um, so long. Um, but we are back on track. But I had like two. You can like see the marks. But I had these two where they were like the like under the skin pimple so and then like they've literally been there for like two weeks but like you can't do anything about them because like you know and then i have these i love these but they really only work whenever there's like a white head or like it's like at the surface because that's how it pulls the oil out so i tried these dark 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 dr jart <laughs> um blemish micro tip patches it comes in a pack of six i don't remember how much they were they weren't like too much but they have like hyaluronic acid micro tips with vitamin b3 and i literally put them on there last night and they're like flat this morning like it literally took like it all the way down there's like nothing in there anymore and now like just the discoloration's healing so i'm obsessed with these you need them um, but I really do think I like this. I'm definitely going to buy the big bottle. Um, I was using it like night and morning and I love it. Also, I wish, I mean, I just went on Sephora. I haven't looked on their website. I wish I had like a face wash. Cause like 
kind of want like the whole shebang but um i really recommend anything dr jart but like this ceramide in line is the shit i only use this at night um and it really lasts like quite a while and i'm not like small like with how much i use but yeah you really need to try all that especially like um also the reason my skin started like freaking out is because i started using my tretinoin again for the first time in a while which i get it from apostrophe um and i like just jumped in too quick and so like it made my skin kind of like flaky or not like flaky but like I don't know my forehead was like dry looking and so my moist moisture barrier was just kind of jacked up so yeah and then it like brought out um some acne because i hadn't been using it in a long time so yeah really recommend all those products um also i ordered this paula choice foaming what's it called perfectly balanced foaming cleanser that's like my favorite fucking cleanser ever that's like maybe my fifth or sixth bottle. It's like 20 bucks. You can get on Amazon also. Um, but yeah. I'm obsessed with it. I think I'm going to go water my garden really quick. Um, and I'll show you a little update. Here's my little Riley girl. Here's little Riley girl. Look how much bigger everything is. So this is that chili pepper, hot chili pepper. And it's got a bunch of buds coming in. And then the jalapeno has a bunch of new buds coming in. And then there's already been a couple flowers that have fallen. So peppers will be coming out soon. This is the habanero plant. It's recovering because it had been attacked by a bug when I first got it. But all the new growth is here. Hopefully there starts getting flowers soon. Okay, and then this is the cucumber plant, and it is, I'm gonna have to take it out of this and put it in a pot and get a cage, I learned, because this is what it's doing my jalapeno plant. So it's like latching on. It's the weirdest thing ever. I didn't know it did this. So, and it's doing it to my tomato plant, but there's tons of like buds down here, and we should see cucumbers soon. Um. And then this is a tomato plant. It's like kind of struggling, so I don't know. I'm not sure. But when I re when I replant this to a separate pot, I think I'm going to get another kind of tomato and put it right here. Here's my basil. It's getting way bigger. The oregano is way bigger. The mint and then the flowers. Um, and I may like scoot this stuff down and then give all this more room because I didn't know it was gonna get so big. But yeah, it's a little garden update. What you doing? Um, <laughs> hello guys. I kind of forgot to start this vlog. Also, I just filmed and I just was like getting undressed to take a shower and I realized that you could literally see my whole thong and butt. So, here we are again. Um, but I kind of forgot I was started filming today. Like, I feel like I don't even know what day it is. For some reason, my days are messed up. Um, but I went to eat with a friend and to get drinks after and I'm back home now. It's like nine o'clock. I'm about to hop in the shower and get in bed. I'm going to Pilates at 6.30 in the morning. So literally about to go to sleep and I'm tired. But literally like my body has been like getting back on its like clock, like internal clock. Um, and I've had like no problems like falling asleep or getting up early. So pretty good on that now and that lofty alarm clock is amazing i kind of talked about it in my um weekly yeah i think i talked about it in my weekly vlog yeah which i'm actually uploading tomorrow so it'll be uploaded by the time you see this um but i really love um really love it and it wakes me up really good so yeah and i've been doing like the meditation or the breath work i've kind of been like switching off depending on the mood at night and i literally sleep like a baby all night don't wake up once it's amazing i really recommend it um so yeah but i'm about to shower wash my face and go to sleep i'll see you tomorrow good morning everyone um 
Thursday morning. I'm like in a good mood. I just feel like this week is going by so fast, which I love. Obviously, I showered this morning. I washed my hair after Pilates and um, I just put some like tinted sunscreen on uh, the Elta MD. So I'm looking a little, a little rough, but feeling great. So that's what matters. But I'm doing something tonight. Um, so I didn't want to put makeup on because I didn't want to take it off and redo it because I wanted like fresh makeup, but meeting someone tonight for drinks. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm drinking my green juice. I don't know where it is. I just got back inside and I'm literally like sweating. It's so hot outside and it's really, really sunny. Um, I have a facial tomorrow. I'm so excited. Like all those like stubborn, I had like the stubborn acne. It's all like gone, but like my skin stays so red. It's so annoying. So they're just like there. Um, but I'm so excited to get a facial and get like my skin back on track. Um, I'm doing the hydroderm abrasion, which is one I love to do. It's one I do like almost every single time. It's like a hydrofacial mixed with the microderm abrasion. Um, and then I added on dermaplaning and then I'm adding on this new thing that she has called like a Photox facial. And it just like tightens the fuck out of your skin. It's like a Botox, like, like whatever for your whole face. Making you look lifted and snatched. So I'm very excited to try that. Um, but yeah, that's tomorrow at like one o'clock. Um, I'm about to make my chia pudding and I'm going to make it on here because I haven't done that in a vlog yet. I like showed how I make the actual like chia seed pudding, which is so easy. Um, you just mix like whatever milk you want and the chia seeds, but I'll show you how I put it together for like a little bowl. All right, here's our finished product in the natural light. Looks bomb. I'm gonna be sad whenever I get tired of this breakfast. Okay, I'm out of my simple syrup that I used for my coffee. Um, and I had to go to HB yesterday to get what I use. So I just use this organic pure cane sugar and mix it with coconut sugar. I'm gonna do um, probably equal parts of these two and then like equal parts water. So like if I do two total cups of sugar, I would do two total cups of water. Um, but I just eyeball it now because I've made it so many times. So I kind of just know what it needs to look like. But <clears throat> you're gonna just mix it all together in a pot. And then um, I just put it on like three. And then once like you just want all the sugar to dissolve, um, you can turn it up a little more if you want to do it like quicker, but um, don't forget about it because it will keep cooking and it'll basically turn into like caramel. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let the sugar dissolve and then I store it in a mason jar in the fridge and it usually lasts me like two to three weeks because um, I use it like twice a day, so yeah. Just figured I would show you real quick since I was doing it. I'm gonna finish making this and then I'm gonna make my coffee and then work. I don't wanna ever go. This pretty killer's over there on the low. 
They're trying to make me change the way I see the world Trying to pull me under, trying to make me switch up I'm trying to paint the picture, so hear me out I hate the way the issues turn up unannounced Always bringing drama without a doubt I can't even hold back, I'm in my feelings I'll wear them on my wrist I wish it could be my oasis But you're always acting wasted Hello guys! <laughs> Hello Dark Transformer Um... It's like 5ish I just stopped working Then I washed my face Actually I... Um... Well it's actually almost like probably 6 now 5.30 Um... I re-potted the cucumber plant And put the new tomato in there and give it some good watering and plant food and then I went and washed my face and I'm doing this mask because my skin is just needing a little hydration um Riley's demanding pets um yeah so I'm doing this mask I'm gonna let it sit on here for like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup I'm not going to like 7 30 but um I like to do my makeup a little bit before so that my natural oils can like soak through because I don't like when my skin looks like dry. I don't know. Um, but this is my fucking favorite mask ever. I think I've said it a million times and like on all platforms, it truly just makes your skin feel so good. It's like plumps it up and makes it so smooth. Um, so yeah, I might do a little get ready with me. Um, I kind of need a snack, but I don't know what. But yeah, if I do get ready with me, I'll see you then. Hello guys, so obviously I didn't film a get ready with me and I'm just, now I'm like in a bad mood because my makeup was just not doing it for me today. I don't know why my face looks so red out here. Do I look like that? My face doesn't look red in this mirror. But, yeah. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not effing with the makeup today. My eyelashes feel like they're all over the place. My skin just is ass right now, so, whatever. Um, but I went to get some of my Amazon packages, so. We're gonna do an unboxing. My package room was like a literal Shit show. Like, I don't know why there was, like, you could hardly even walk in there, and there were so many packages, and they were just, like, thrown. Like, my office, for some reason, has been, like, taking some of the packages just straight to them instead of letting the Amazon people, like, put them in the package room like they normally do. And then they don't put them in there for, like, two days. And then when they put them in there, they just, like, throw shit in there. And, like, because we have, like, different shelves and baskets for different floors, and, like, Mine were like on the fifth floor level. And I just happened to be looking. This one I ordered more of my aloe juice because I've been out. That actually got delivered a few days ago. And I went in there one day and I like couldn't find half my stuff. Also I got a tarot card deck. I don't really know why, but I don't know how to work any of them. But let's see. I ordered some clothes. Oh cool, this is like a pack of tank tops and I saw, I almost ordered these and then I saw um, Courtney Shields wearing them at TikTok and they actually looked like really like nice so I ordered them. It's like a pack of three. I'm gonna have to try it on. It's like a silky material. This looks, it's like double lined. It looks like it's not gonna be see through. Riley, please stop. And then there's a black and a like brown color. I have two more. For sure, I have more packages. Also, I have a freaking phone case. And I have no idea. I think I delivered like over a week ago, and I have no idea where it is. I'm so excited for this shirt. Depending, like, I might cut it at the bottom so it's like a raw hem. Dump him. <laughs> I'm excited to wear that. Ew, it smells weird. Okay, last one. Black. 
Oh, this is just a plain black thing. Yeah, I have another green top that I guess is still in there. This is just, this feels like me. Okay. But I wanted like a skinny strap black tank top. Um, I mean, maybe if I wash it, it'll feel better, but it's just kind of like rough. Um, I don't know, I feel like I've, I mean, I'm gonna keep it and it probably wasn't expensive, but I feel like you've been kind of like striking out with the Amazon clothes. Like I tried to order some for Mexico, same with swimsuits, and they just like, I don't know, I guess you get what you pay for. I always am just happier oh, whenever I um, just spend a little more money on like a nicer place. Like this was like fucking $15 or something, but I can get like this one that I'm wearing at Aritzia for $25 and it feels like buttered. It just fits perfectly. Like, I don't know, I think it's worth it to spend the extra money. I'm not very pumped about this shirt. I think I am gonna cut it so it's a little more cropped and I just like that raw hem, so yeah. Um, I feel like my makeup not going how I want it to um, is a sign that maybe I don't need to go, but I'm gonna go. I don't know how I wanna wear my hair either. I do wanna wear like some front pieces down because like I'm just not really liking my face right now. But I'm maybe I'm just gonna do a full clock. I guess I should decide what I'm gonna wear. Alexa, pause. I do really like the Amazon tank. It feels really good on. And I like the skinny straps and I like the shape of the top. Like it actually has like support. Like I'm not wearing a bra. I'm nipping. It's not see-through, but they're a little pointy right now. <laughs> like part of me, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Is this look weird? guys this is the fit kind of lame <clears throat> and I'm just gonna wear my black and white ducks <sighs> my natural oils are starting to come through it's making my makeup not look as bad but sliding is not doing me any favors I'm just Oh, okay, I need to I need to snap out of this. I don't know why I'm in like getting neck I'm getting, giving myself negative vibes. Um so what happens when your makeup just doesn't look good. I don't know. It's just like like it was like pilling over here. And I don't know what has been on like what has been up with Riley the last few weeks. She has become addicted to um, these fucking treats from HEV. And she literally stands at the cabinet all day and cries and she like never used to really care. But anyways, I am gonna hurry up and make like an espresso martini. Um, so let's do it. I'm gonna do my shot really quick, then I'll be back. Let me take you off here. <laughs> Um, I don't normally do this, but I think I'm gonna add a splash of liquor 43 since I have it. I was gonna make a Carajillo, but I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna do like a combination of the two. So, oh wow. I didn't know that's all the vodka that I had. I never drink vodka, so I'm gonna do all three of those. Um, I'm gonna do like almost a double shot of vodka. And it's all over the shirt, so I'm like, does my shirt gonna smell like coffee? Bro, just another thing. Another thing to go wrong. Like, is this about to be the worst, like, date ever? <sighs> the show must go on. Whatever. Looks good. My arm is so sticky. Okay, well, cheers to that. Hopefully the night gets better. Um, my arm is so fucking sticky. I'm about to go wipe it off with a washcloth and try to figure out if my shirt smells like coffee now. So, bye. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I have these glasses on. Well, I'm about to have a meeting at 9 a.m. I don't know who the fuck thinks a 9 a.m. meeting on a Friday is okay, but yeah. Um, it's like 8.40 and I stayed up way too late last night, but surprisingly I'm like not actually tired. I don't know, but I made my smoothie to revive me. Um, I had fun yesterday. I'm glad that I went and that's the only details that are being shared right now. So yeah. Um, also, like, in the future, if I ever get a boyfriend, I'm definitely doing a soft launch. Just, like, a few little hints randomly. There won't be a hard launch, okay, for a while. More exciting news. Um, I am going to my facial at 115. 
Um, so excited. I still have like all the redness. My skin is so annoying. Like all of my like pimples are gone, but like my skin stays so red forever. It's so, like those old pimples are still like so red. It's driving me crazy. Um, but it's getting better. Like especially even today when I woke up, I noticed a huge difference. Um, so. Riley. My morning update my Friday morning update so I'll see you later good morning guys it is Saturday morning and I didn't do like anything yesterday so I literally didn't film anything but I went to Pilates this morning at 9 and just got back showered oh Yesterday I did go get my facial and I was gonna video but I forgot to bring my camera I wasn't gonna video the facial but I was gonna video like on the way there and stuff But I forgot to bring my camera um So yeah, but I did the hydroderm <coughs> Dermaplaning <coughs> Um the photox facial and she did like an oxygen treatment um to like help heal like the old marks that I have from the last few weeks um and that it was amazing and my skin feels like so amazing it's like night and day's difference especially with the dermaplaning it just it just does something for me but the photox facial i feel snatched like literally everything is just like i love it um so i'm very happy about that but yeah i went to pilates and came back showered i walked riley a little bit and now i just made my chia seed pudding um i am like addicted to this so yeah um i'm gonna eat this and then i think i don't know i might go to the grocery store today um what well, I, I know i am um because i want to cook dinner tonight and then i'm like i might as well just like shop for at least the first half of the week so i'm gonna like decide what i want and yeah um i'll film obviously like what i cook and maybe i'll film a grocery haul because there's not much else on this vlog because i've done nothing but i think next week i'm gonna film a what eight in a day i did a poll on instagram of like what eight in a day versus what eight in a week and thankfully everyone said what eight in a day for the most part because i do like what eight in a week but i feel like i can't go as like in depth into like cooking and it's just like really hard to film every single meal that i eat all week especially like while i'm working if i'm busy like it's just i don't know it's it's kind of hard to do it for the whole entire week so <clears throat> yeah maybe i'll do like not this week but another time i'll do like a few days of what eat like what eight in a day but for a few days um so yeah i'm gonna eat this chia seed pudding and then i'll see you later hello guys i'm back so i forgot that i was planning on going to the galleria so i'm gonna do that and i have a pair of shorts that i want to return to Abercrombie and I'm gonna go on Aritzia and obviously Abercrombie um, I might go into H&M Zara I might get more like um, Aritzia shorts or tanks I don't know I'm gonna see and also I want to look for um, maybe like a cute top that I can wear going out in Kansas City when we go in a couple weeks um, for CK and Justin's birthdays. We all got a big Airbnb and we're all going to Kansas City. So that'll be fun. And I'm gonna look for something for that. I might look for some cute shoes. I don't know. We're gonna see. But so I just got ready. This is the that Amazon tank, and I'm literally so obsessed with it. I like actually got makeup on it, but I don't care. Um, and I wore the black one to Pilates this morning and it was like perfect like it's just enough support You obviously wouldn't want to wear it like 
doing like a high intensity workout because it's like not a built-in bra but it is like this double lining um so like it held me in perfectly for that and i was fine like bending over and moving and all that stuff so i honestly might see if there's even more colors and even order a pack of the same ones because when i find a good crop tank that i like i literally stick with it that's why i'm with like my aritzia ones that i love um so yeah and i think i might grab chick-fil-a on the way like a kid's meal or something because i'm needing some lunch so yeah i'll show you a haul of, what, a haul of whatever i get at the galleria so back from the galleria and heb i ran in there on my way home um so i'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul tonight i am making this street corn pasta salad from the ambitious kitchen and i'm just kind of like tweaking it with whatever i decided to do um but i'll link like the main recipe below um so and i'm gonna add chicken so i got some chicken and i'm gonna grill that and also grill the corn um and then i'm gonna grill poblano and dice it up in there she used like raw jalapeno so i might do both but i saw the poblano and it sounded good so i got some jalapenos cilantro for that um avocado I'm gonna dice red pepper um red onion that's like the main ingredients and then i got this organic bow tie pasta um some lemons and limes whatever sweet onion so the other thing i think i'm gonna do it tomorrow um and then just eat on both i got some jumbo wild caught shrimp and i'm gonna do skewers with pineapple and sweet onion on the grill it sounds so good um i got some cashews to have and also um the sauce for the pasta salad you do cashews and i got my nyx brow pen again um almond flour tortillas just to have and these gluten-free tenders just to have like to throw in that tortilla with lettuce or whatever i got some romaine i'm gonna add that into the pasta salad um just add some green to it and oh i got more honey because i'm out local honey and then i got fabuloso because i was getting this mop so many times and they had it at the front 20 percent off so i got it and i'm probably gonna use it in the morning um it's been through it um yeah it's like where you put like put the water in the bowl and stuff and then the bowl when you have the mop in there you step on it and it like rings out the mop thing but it was only like 24 dollars with the coupon so that is all i got i'm gonna put everything away and then i'm gonna show you what i got the gallery at i got the cutest like cargo pants so okay so i went to cotton on also there's no abercrombie in the gallery i don't I totally forgot that, so I didn't get to return my shorts. But I went to Cotton On, mostly to look at just, I didn't even know they had one, but I happened to walk past it and I was mostly gonna look at like basic tanks and like shorts. But then I found these cargo pants. They're super cute, like really freaking cute on. Um, I got them in this like beige color and in a black. Um, Obviously, you can't really see the black that well, but, and then I went to Aritzia, and a lot of their stuff was, like, picked over. Like, I wanted to find more, like, shorts, but they had, like, none, but I got this just that basic white bodysuit that they have that, like, snatches you. Um, I feel like it could be cute with, like, either one of these, um, or a corset top, but I will try on, um, I'll try on the beige cargo pants because they'll be easier to, like, see than the black, so let me, okay. Trying to get like back far enough to where you can see them, but they're so cute. They're like super flattering on the butt and I love these pockets. Um, they're like the perfect amount of oversized. They have like the snap pockets, the button just snaps. Um, I don't even know if you can see me, but yeah. So I'm obsessed and they're like a good, I, I sized up, I'm normally a six and I got an eight so that like I have like extra room up here because I kind of like that like baggier look on cargos but like literally look how cute they are on the butt with these pockets. I'm obsessed. Let me see if I can, I love these, show you in the mirror. I need to move those pictures but yeah. Oh, so cute. And then like I can pull them down 
if I want or like have them like more high waisted. Um, but yeah, I am like so obsessed with these. I'm hoping it's not too hot to where I can wear like either these or the black ones in Kansas City out one night. Like um, probably the black with like a black or white corset top um, and then like my black and white dunks. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute. And they were like $59. So and they're not like too thick. So they really won't be that hot, but yeah. I'm obsessed. Like I love like this, how it has like a little room. So yeah, that was my finds for the day. Um, and I walked into Zara and it was a total shit show and the line was so long and I did not have patience for that. Same with H&M. Um, but I, like at that point, I was like already shopped out in the Galleria. It's just like so fucking hectic. And I was like sweating. It was so hot in there. And like I was parched. I feel like that happens every time I go to a mall or like something. Because I didn't have a drink with me. Um, like I just get like so hot. And my mouth gets so dry. But look how cute. Okay. I'm going to start prepping dinner. But if I was, here's what I'd do. Here's what I'd do. If I was in love with you, torn up sheets, all the feathers. There's a picket fence somewhere, nothing better. A dose of Chanel perfume and coffee in the afternoon. You way ahead of the side, flip it in the mirror until you get it right. My pillow's in the shape of you. I'm kind of afraid to move. Will you ever know what I went through? Will you wake up in my bed in the afternoon? And I hope that they still remember it too. Subliminal love. Okay, here's the finished product, and it is so fucking good. I like um only tossed like all the pasta and all the veggies and stuff. And then I chopped up her mane and put it on top of that out of the chicken and feta and avocado and so bomb i'm obviously not adding the remain to that because i don't want it to get like soggy in the fridge so yeah okay guys just finished eating and i cleaned my kitchen um hi good girl okay um but ew you slobbered on me I'll move over. Um, okay. Yeah, so I just cleaned my kitchen and I'm not really gonna do much the rest of the night. Just watch some TV and I'm gonna edit this vlog because I'm ending it here. Um, it wasn't super eventful, but it was a few days in my life. Take it for what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So, and also, you really need to make that recipe. I'm serious. It's so good. Um, so, yeah. I might film another one tomorrow of, like, cooking dinner. It depends. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. Like, subscribe if you're new here. I hope you enjoyed your first vlog. It's probably not my best, but, yeah. So, Thanks for watching and Riley, look, say we'll see you next time.